Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today, we will cover how to document a database using LLM. Let's say you have developed a database and some killer front end. Now you are tasked with documenting the database. What a fun task, said no developer ever. Instead of documenting each column manually, we can hand this over to AI. Since large language models are really good at generative AI, I decided to put them to work. We will use an open source LLM via Olama. If you need to set up Olama, then please watch the setup video. I will leave the link below. I will take the following DBT project. We have completed the DIMMs and facts. Now it's time to generate the documentation. Along with the DAG, our data users get documentation that helps them understand the base objects. Anyways, we will use the Python to interact with an LLM served by Olama. We can use the Langchain or OpenAI library. We need the OpenAI library installed along with Psycho PG2. We are using the Jupyter Notebook as the development environment. The Jupyter Notebook setup videos link is in the description. Make sure the Alama services are running and you have a LLM available locally. In the notebook, we import the required libraries. To interact with the LLM, we create an instance of the OpenAI class. This instance is used to make requests to OpenAI API. It requires a key and a URL. Since we are using an open source model, you can set the API key value to anything. The Alama runs on port 11434 on localhost. We save this into a client variable. With this client variable, we can access the LLM's chat functionality. Next, we create a classify column function and pass the columns as an argument. In a try accept block, we invoke the chat completion API to generate a response. This block is the main part of the code. It sends a chat request to the model Llama3, asking it to generate a response based on the conversation provided in messages. This is where things get interesting. This code defines a conversation between the AI and a user. The conversation consists of two messages. Message 1. The first message has a role of system and content that provides context to the AI about what kind of text it should generate. In this case, the AI is told to generate brief descriptions for columns in a database table. We provide the table definition. Message 2. The second message has a role of user and content that provides the column name represented by the variable column that the AI should describe. When we run this code, it sends a request to the API, Alama in this case, asking it to generate column definitions based on the criteria we defined in the messages array. The AI will respond with a generated text that describes the provided column name in a brief and concise manner. We define the database details and the connection using variables and SQL alchemy. We query the table using the connection we defined. The main purpose of this is to get the column names. We can provide the list manually, but this will be handy if you have a lot of wide tables. We can test the LLM by generating a response for a single column. We pass in the product key and let's see what response we receive from the model. This produces a valid description for this column. Now we can loop through the columns in the data frame and generate a definition for all columns in this table in one go. Let's wait for the model to generate a response. We have the whole table documented in seconds. We can clean up the response to our liking and embed this definition in our DBT project. Previously, we covered an extension that provides this functionality. However, it is paid and you expose your data to external parties. With this approach, we use a local model and create definition for an entire table in one go rather than one column at a time. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.